I really love my YouTube community. Even when they have me watch something so random and unpopular that I know it will get me no more than a couple hundred views, I still respect the hell out of them. And that goes double for Patreon member Raquel P who recommended I watch Big Time in Hollywood, Florida. Let's talk about it. I'm talking about this TV show today because Raquel P became a Patreon on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies at the mithril level. It's 30 bucks you get to request a movie for me to review. She was wise to the fact that Big Time in Hollywood, Florida isn't a movie at all. It's a TV show. So she had a friend chip in so I would watch all the episodes and give you my thoughts on it. Listen, I have access to almost every streaming platform out there and I still couldn't find this damn thing outside of paying to rent each episode like three bucks a pop, which that would kind of defeat the purpose of the Patreon membership, wouldn't it? I'd have to end up paying more than they're giving me. Uh, but I did end up finding them on ComedyCentral.com, where if you are a cable member, you can watch it. I'm not a cable member because it's almost 2023 and who is still? However, they did give me a 24 access pass to watch this show, and I have to say, their website slash app is garbage. The episodes weren't even in order, and I'm pretty sure one of them was completely skipped over. So I totally missed the introduction to Cuba Gooding Jr., which is a damn shame. Because he's just one of several cameo characters in this fantastic, funny show that was canceled way too soon. The show follows Jack and Ben. They're total losers who live with their parents in Florida and dream of becoming filmmakers, getting to the top in Hollywood. These 30-somethings have a vision. And it's absolutely warped compared to what the final product is because when they're filming things, they're seeing it through their own lens and it looks beautiful, high production quality. And then we snap to what it actually is and it's like rudimentary low level garbage that pretty much anyone can make on their first attempt. So they suck at their craft, but they're pretty clever when it comes to trying to get money from their folks. Their parents, Diana and Alan, mean well, they really do, but their kids have to get out. So they make the tough decision and say, get out. You're done. We've given you enough money. It's time for you to make it on your own two feet or four feet in this instance, as both the brothers need to go. Instead of actually sucking up, looking at the reality of things, getting jobs in their own places, they instead decide to extort their parents for $20,000. And this is just the beginning of a premise that will get so out of hand, so insane, that by the time episode 10 rolls around, multiple people have died, been imprisoned, or are on the run. It is an insane roller coaster of a show. I highly recommend you somehow watch it. I mentioned how Cuba Gooding Jr. is in here. That's just the tip of the iceberg. You have cameos by Jason Alexander, Keith David as a decent chunk of time and Ben Stiller in the first two episodes is hilarious but it's really the two brothers that make this thing such a fun watch the episodes are only 25 minutes each and their dialogue and their just complete stupidity with how the real world operates is quite remarkable everything they pretty much know about life comes from film and they really think that that's how things operate in the real world I had a blast with the show. I couldn't wait to keep watching the next episode as long as the Comedy Central app worked, which rarely it did. So that was a fun, frustrating chore to get through. Still, it was worth it. The snappy dialogue, the great twist endings that would happen at each episode. It kind of reminded me of A Good Place in those instances, but I thought this was way better. It was like A Good Place meets Arrested Development. It's somewhere in the middle there. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, Definitely try to find this and give it a watch. I almost forgot Michael Madsen's in here for like five episodes as a crazy unhinged detective. Each episode ups the ante in terms of craziness and what these two dipshits are gonna get themselves into next. And it all just really spiraled out of control from one bad decision at the beginning. That's my favorite kind of humor. I don't have a single negative outside of this doesn't end because the show was canceled, which sucks because it really is a gem, a diamond in the rough that everyone should try to check out if they can. Thank you once more to Patreon member Raquel and her mystery friend for supporting me and letting me do this episode. I appreciate it. If you wanna become a Patreon at the Mithril level for 30 bucks, you also get to pick out a movie for me to review. If you want a TV show, well, we can talk about it.
It's a little bit more work for me to get through all of them, but uh, in this case, it was definitely worth my time. Let me know in the comments if you actually saw this show. Like the video if you had a good time. Please think about subscribing as I post tons of movie and occasionally TV show content each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. Take care. Thanks for watching the video. Did you know I also have a brand new YouTube channel called Adam After Dark, where I do two to four minute skits. It's uh, it's just kind of getting started. We're trying to get to that first thousand subs. So I'd appreciate if you check me out there. There's a couple videos to watch. I'm also on TikTok at Adam Does Movies and Adam After Dark. Another way to support me is through Patreon, as I said, or becoming a YouTube Join member. There's also merch. I, 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 like, I have ways to support the show. I'd appreciate it. Take care.